Envision a groundbreaking solution emerging to tackle a complex geographical challenge as the brilliance of human innovation embarks on crafting a suspended architectural marvel that will gracefully span the expanse of the Detroit River. The engineering prowess encapsulated in the Gordie Howe International Bridge is nothing short of extraordinary, boasting towering structures that seem to touch the sky, colossal cables interwoven with precision, and an unwavering commitment to sustainability practices. Scheduled for completion in the year 2025, this engineering feat is on track to secure the distinguished title of being the lengthiest cable-stayed bridge across North America. The meticulous planning and execution of the Gordie Howe International Bridge Project, which serves as a vital link between the nations of Canada and the United States, mark it as a true testament to the pinnacle of border infrastructure endeavors. Encompassing a myriad of intricate components, the expansive project revolves around the meticulously planned bridge entry points situated in both nations and the intricate Michigan Interchange I-75. The endeavor demands exhaustive planning, unwavering attention to minute details and the application of pioneering methods in the realms of design and construction. The engineering entity, formerly acclaimed for its prowess in erecting towering skyscrapers, endearingly designates this venture as the most avant-garde bridge ever to grace construction. What propels the construction of the Gordie Howe International Bridge, and what sophisticated technologies underpin the erection of this unparalleled cable-stayed marvel, now recognized as the lengthiest in North America? The historical significance of the passage over the Detroit River, linking the United States and Canada, dates back to the epoch of the American Civil War. Through the annals of time, ferries have played a pivotal role in facilitating the seamless transportation of goods and individuals across this vital riverine conduit. In the historical landscape of cross-border transportation, the Michigan Central Railway Tunnel marked its inauguration in July 1910, paving the way for subsequent milestones such as the Ambassador Bridge's opening for road traffic in November 1929 and the Detroit-Windsor Tunnel in 1930. However, a complex scenario unfolds in this narrative. The Ambassador Bridge, an imposing 7,500-ton structure, emerges as a pivotal link between the vibrant cities of Detroit, Michigan in the United States, and Windsor, Ontario in Canada. This architectural marvel, crafted by McClinic Marshall, the same company renowned for the iconic Golden Gate Bridge, serves as a vital conduit for nearly 25% of daily truck crossings at the U.S. Canada border. A staggering fleet of around 10,000 vehicles traverses its expanse daily, facilitating the movement of goods valued at over $120 billion on an annual basis. Intriguingly, the ownership of the Ambassador Bridge lies in the hands of the Detroit International Bridge Company, a unique and somewhat controversial arrangement. The crux of the controversy stems from the fact that toll collections and vehicle inspection fees flow directly into the coffers of the private owner. Despite this, some voices lend their support to the Ambassador Bridge, highlighting its monopoly status that restricts trucks from utilizing the nearby tunnel. Noteworthy is the private ownership of the bridge by billionaire Manuel Maroon, which introduces an additional layer of complexity. The maintenance record of both the bridge and the road tunnel has been lackluster, posing challenges for their sustained functionality. Compounding this issue is the absence of direct highway connections on the Canadian side, necessitating vehicles to navigate through city streets and contend with traffic lights before reaching Ontario Highway 41, an aspect that underscores the intricate dynamics of cross-border infrastructure in this region. Throughout the passage of time, the Ambassador Bridge has undergone various alterations, with the wear and tear on its structure becoming increasingly apparent. The emergence of traffic congestion during peak hours has exacerbated the situation, resulting in prolonged wait times at the border and substantial repercussions for the local economy. The bridge's antiquated infrastructure, coupled with limited governmental control over operational aspects, further compounds the challenges. Persistent traffic issues persist, rendering the Ambassador Bridge less than optimal for meeting the demands of modern transportation and commerce.
Enter the spotlight, the Gordie Howe International Bridge, a beacon of hope and connectivity. Honoring a hockey legend, this cutting-edge bridge emerges as a solution to enhance cross-border traffic. With its contemporary design and advanced cable-stayed structure, it symbolizes advancement, equipped to effortlessly manage the surge in current commercial interactions. Adding sweetness to the deal, it paves the way for economic expansion by forging a faster and more reliable link between nations. The prospect of the Gordie Howe International Bridge holds the promise of revitalizing the local economy, ensuring a fortified future. Diverging from the conventional, this bridge boasts a captivating cable-stayed design. Upon completion, it will secure its place as the lengthiest of its kind in North America, stretching across 1.5 miles. The towering main pillars will reach an impressive height of 752 feet, surpassing even the Washington Monument. Adding a unique touch, this bridge marks a first for the Detroit River, featuring dedicated multi-use paths catering to pedestrians pedestrians and cyclists. The design extends its functionality, accommodating vessels with dimensions of up to 100 feet in length and 18 feet in width. The Gordie Howe International Bridge Project is a collaborative effort with the Michigan Department of Transportation, Windsor Detroit Bridge Authority, and Bridging North America pooling the expertise of over 150 engineers. The construction employs an innovative unbalanced cantilever system, also known as the stick building approach. Beginning from the strategically positioned towers in Windsor and Detroit, the construction progresses incrementally over the river, uniting in the middle to form the bridge. This central point features one main span section flanked by two approach spans, an intermediate support tower, and a pedestrian walkway seamlessly connecting both halves of the bridge. The primary section of the Gordie Howe International Bridge spans two lanes and boasts two arms, each 12 meters in width, running parallel on either side of its central axis. These arms, possessing individual deck surfaces, also link to an additional deck below through five cabling struts affixed to pylons situated above them. This remarkable bridge is set to become a captivating night spectacle, thanks to its design incorporating aesthetic lighting for post-sunset allure. Addressing concerns about wind, the engineers have taken measures to ensure the bridge's resilience against the strongest winds that may sweep across the Detroit River during windy days. No longer will travelers experience the unsettling feeling of potential breakage during rides. Furthermore, the bridge showcases an impressive collection of public artworks, with contributions from local artists. This artistic endeavor underscores the commitment to combining functionality, visual appeal, and environmental mind. The initial part of the bridge is set to reach a towering height of 1,500 feet, surpassing the height of Niagara Falls. This segment extends 930 feet over the Detroit River, linking Windsor to Detroit. Subsequently, another section will match this remarkable height, measuring 650 feet at each end. The concluding part of the bridge spans 150 feet, contributing to its distinction as one of North America's lengthiest cable-stayed bridges. Upon its completion, this bridge will claim the title of the longest cable-stayed bridge in North America, boasting a primary span of 770 meters. It achieves structural stability through cables suspended between two towers, comprising 2,842 precast concrete segments, each weighing more than 4 million pounds, the entire bridge showcases an impressive engineering feat. Anticipated to enhance trade between Canada and the U.S. by an annual value of $6 billion in goods, the international crossing in focus is none other than the Gordie Howe International Bridge. Its impressive infrastructure, with a price tag of $5.7 billion Canadian dollars, is slated for completion in 2025 over a span of 74 months. Positioned to replace aging structures, this bridge is poised to catalyze increased trade activities between the two nations 
patience. Constructing a project of the Gordie Howe International Bridge's scale incurs substantial expenses, with an estimated total cost of 4.4 billion US dollars. This encompasses not only the bridge's construction, but also the design and development of entry ports and highway interchanges in both the US and Canada. Yet the Gordie Howe International Bridge project promises substantial financial gains. Foreseen on both sides of the border is the creation of around 2,500 jobs during the construction phase alone, contributing to an economic upswing by streamlining the movement of goods and reducing transit durations. Various sectors, from manufacturing to agriculture, stand to benefit through more effective supply chains. According to the U.S. Department of Transportation, the current delays exact a toll of 17.6 billion US dollars annually on the economies of both the US and Canada. The unbelievable saga of building this architectural marvel has taken us on a journey across soaring heights and through the depths of challenges, weaving a narrative as intricate as the cables that suspend this breathtaking structure. Undoubtedly, such a substantial project is a rare occurrence that occurs once in a generation. This initiative will not only enhance the transportation experience for those traveling internationally, but will also open up avenues for growth in the Windsor, Detroit area. Share your thoughts in the comments below. Appreciate your viewership and don't forget to give us a thumbs up, share the video, and hit the notification bell. Until next time.